Bentley's Brawny V8 engine is a cornerstone of the company's brand. For the new Mulsanne, they've re-engineered the famed 6 and 3 quarter liter powerhouse, pushing the peak torque to 1,100 newton meters. A technician uses a hoist to bring the crankshaft over to the crank case and carefully lower it into position. He then secures it with the main bearing caps. These are numbered 1 through 5. He starts with number 5 and works his way to number 1, gently tapping the components into position with a mallet. He adds the bolts and torques them securely before making sure the crankshaft can spin freely in its bearing. A technician slowly drops the camshaft into the engine block. He must ensure the camshaft lobes don't get damaged by the block as they go in. Sealing rings go on the end of the camshaft before he installs the top plate which keeps the camshaft end float within parameters. Using a piston checking gauge, an operator ensures the component circlips are in place before separating the cap from the rod. This allows him to easily install the con rod bearings and cap bearings. He attaches two nylon rods to the piston and compresses the piston rings in a specialized tool. He brings the piston to the engine block and inserts it into its assigned bore. The nylon rods have done their job of protecting the bore. The technician removes them, installs the caps, and torques them in place. He finishes off his installation and then turns the crankshaft, running the pistons up and down the bores to make sure there's nothing impeding their movement. A technician installs the crankshaft flex plate, part of the component that turns the gearbox and provides drive. He then places the second plate on top before positioning a plastic torque tightening guide. Torque tightening is a precision process. The technician follows three prescribed steps in torquing the bolts. With the final step, the bolts must be tightened to a torque specified by the engineers who designed the engine. A worker brings the lightweight aluminum heads to the engine block and uses a set of locator pins to position them. A pair of gaskets have blue rings of silicon embedded in them to provide a good seal. With the gaskets in place, the technician can drop the manifold into position. He then follows the torquing specifications to run down the bolts. He now installs the fuel rails on either side of the manifold base. The technician carefully places an oiled ball bearing on top of each of the engine's 16 push rods. Then he installs the rocker shaft with the help of five locator studs. He torques down the nuts with a three-stage process that gently compresses the push rods without bending the rocker shaft. After pre-oiling the rocker shaft, the technician adds the rocker cover. Then a worker stamps on the engine's number. Working by hand, he hammers the unique combination of letters and numerals into the side of the block. The number increases by one with each new engine. Finally, a worker installs the turbo and exhaust manifold. He uses brass nuts to hold it in place because of the metal's resistance to heat expansion. The completely assembled V8 engine is now ready to power the Mulsanne from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 4.9 seconds.